It's been two decades since the Grizzlies were torn away from Vancouver, and to this day, I still don't know why. I never thought we would lose the team. You know, this is our team. This is this is our Grizzlies. Um, I never saw it coming. So that was a clip from the Grizzly Truth. It's a documentary about the Vancouver Grizzlies. The NBA basketball team played here from 1995 to 2001 before moving to Memphis. So the Doc's world premiere is Saturday, October 1st, right here at the Vancouver International Film Festival. And Kat Jamie is the writer and director of The Grizzly Truth. Thank you so much for coming in, Kat. Thank you for having me. Okay, 20 years have passed mm -hmm. and we're still mourning. <laughs> we're yes. still mourning the Grizzlies. So why did you decide now was a good time to put together this documentary? I've always wanted to tell this story. A few years ago, I made a film called Finding Big Country. And even when I was making that film, this was the ultimate goal, to tell the full length story of the Grizzlies um, in a feature length film. And uh, so yeah, this is like a decade's worth of, of dreaming. Okay, you mentioned finding big country. We have to, big country has to fit into this conversation <laughs> yes. somewhere because he, he absolutely stood out as a player. What was it about him? He was, uh, he was our franchise player, you know, the biggest guy on the court. He had such a cool nickname. I think many of us kids just kind of gravitated towards him. Um, and Bryant is one of the many players that, uh, you know, I chat with and I speak to and who shares their story with me about their time here in Vancouver with the Grizzlies. Okay, what about that time? Why is this sort of stuck with you? I think, I know the Grizzlies, you know, weren't the best team, but I was six years old when the Grizzlies came to town, 12 when they left, and I just remember having so much fun at games. I think I was at that perfect age, you know, kids see the world in a different lens, and I think the Grizzlies were just here at the perfect time for me. Um, the games, I, the word I used to describe them, they were just so magical, you know, and I didn't care if we won or lost, and I, to be frank, like, I didn't know we were that bad. So, um, you know, the Grizzlies inspired me as many other uh, young, you know, young athletes, young Vancouverites, and I, I felt like they just need, they need their, their due and their time to shine. And so that's, that's what this film is, to honor them. The city loved them. And yeah. you're right. I mean, I went to many Grizzlies games, and it was great entertainment value, not just what was happening on the court, but all around. It yes. was just a show from start to finish, and it had so much energy. And mm -hmm. there we were all left thinking, <laughs> Wait a second, you're you're leaving? What's going on? And so you explore sort of the Grizzlies leaving phenomenon here. And there were a lot of different, you know, ideas about why that happened. Uh, a lot of fans attacking the general manager, Stu Jackson, yes. too. So what, tell us more about that. There's a lot of anger, frustration, uh, bitterness, resentment. All these feelings still exist for Vancouver Grizzly fans. And so that's when I, I why I knew this was a great story to tackle and to tell because when there's that many emotions, you know that there's something, you know, that that hasn't been fully explored or fully understood. And so, yeah, Stu Jackson is one of the one of the individuals um, who I, you know, set on a journey to try to track down. Um, and everyone, my, my goal of this film was to get get each uh, let everyone uh, who played a significant part in the Grizzlies' history to tell their side of the story and finally give them a platform to say like this is what happened. And again, to give. Vancouver fans a better understanding and also to give Vancouver fans closure. Well, sure. So you managed to track down Stu Jackson, but why is it that fans were saying it's all on him? There, I think it's just there's a lot that happened within those six years, um, and we just haven't had a chance to explore or talk about all the... There's so many things that happened within the six years, and there's a lot of finger point, pointing. You know, Bryant, you know, Reeves got a lot of that blame as well. And that, you know, I hope with Finding Big Country, we kind of got to clear the air there. So the goal with this film is to do the same with a lot of the, the main suspects that I kind of track down with this film. I see. Do you think that there's ever going to be a possibility that we see another NBA franchise I, here in Vancouver? I hope so. I mean, I, this is the, the film. I've, you know, all my films, I hope... I make to sort of get the conversation going. I want the NBA to come to va come back to Vancouver. I think we're we're a city that can support a team, and hopefully, yeah, this this film just gets the conversation going, and you know, hopefully, we get to a good turnout with all our screenings at VIF, and we can show 
how many people still love and miss the Vancouver Grizzlies. Well, sure, and you are you are yes. wearing you're wearing the colors today <laughs> yeah. as well. I still see a lot of people with the with the old the original yeah. Grizzlies T-shirts as well. But tell us about yes. this one because this is going to be available this, is, this weekend. This is available this weekend. Um, this is I, I'm doing a collaboration with the Fu Hong Curios um, gift shop down at, um, in Chinatown at the They're, Chinatown Storytelling Center. Exactly. Yes. Um, we're dropping these tees. This is a limited edition color in teal. So I will be there this weekend selling this as well as the Grizzly Truth merchandise. So, you know, we, if you want an outfit, if you're thinking what to wear for the premiere, come on down, <laughs> get some gear, and you'll be ready to go. I love that. Now, before we let you go, um, you have a little bit of a, a secret yes. to share yes. with us today? So really big news. Um, the premiere is going to be an amazing event. It's going to be a Vancouver Grizzlies reunion. We have players coming to town, so players who we haven't seen in over, like, a decade. Two decades, maybe. Um, Tony Massenberg, George Lynch, and Tony Harvey are all coming to the premiere. Um, we have a sp another special guest that I have to keep my lips sealed about right now. Uh, the Grizz Extreme Dance Team will be there. The Super Grizz will be there. There's going to be red carpet. There's going to be uh, basketball activities outside the Queen Elizabeth Theatre after the screening. You don't want to miss what's happening on October 1st. We're, we're literally going to be bringing back the Grizzlies. I think that's fantastic. And maybe it'll be just enough to stir up enough yes. excitement about basketball in this city again that we will indeed be pushing for another franchise. Kat, all the best to you. Thank you. Thank you so much.